I'm Emma and this is my partner Alex. Two months ago, we achieved our dream of owning our very own camper van as a vacation home in the US until it all went wrong. After a brief time at home in the UK, we are now ready to try again. And after the worst turbulence we've ever experienced, we arrived safe and excited in New York, ready to do it all again and start checking out camper vans. We are so excited to be back in the US and hopefully very soon starting that American road trip that we planned so long ago. So we are here in New York, we're walking through Brooklyn at the moment and the first thing we've got to do is find a van. Oh, I like a fire hydrant. <laughs> like in the movies. It's what? just like the movies. How do these things go off? This is not the first time we've been to New York. We always love it when we come out here, especially for a few days. After a few days, we've had enough. But the first few days, we absolutely love it. As for the radius of our van search, we are prepared to go out of state to go off for the right van. However, we thought whilst we're here in New York, we're actually gonna look at vans around New York first and then start to branch out a bit further afield. We're just about to start the van search right now. We haven't looked at any vans before flying out just because we didn't want to jinx anything and if we find anything we like, by the time we get here it's going to be sold. So now is the time to start the van search. I found one here that's in Brooklyn and I've messaged the guy and it turns out it's like a 10 minute walk away. So we might as well go and see it. It actually looks like a much nicer converted version of what we had last time. It looks like it's completely ready to go. The problem is it's the same age as the last one. See, that scares me so much. I think at this point it's just good for us to kind of like get back on the horse and start looking even if this isn't going to be the van. I think to just start looking and to start sort of getting in the swing of it, asking the right questions, seeing what's out there is just a good idea. It should be parked up just around this corner. Oh wow. Uh, there seems to be quite a few camper vans down this street. I can see already like four, five campers. Yeah, there's a there's bunch of people sat outside. People sat outside in their deck chairs. So they're just getting like rent-free Williamsburg. Clever. This is fascinating. Because I haven't seen camper vans anywhere else. They all seem to be here. To be fair to them, they know what they're doing. Look at the view that they've got. They've got the Manhattan skyline in the background. They're in the center of Williamsburg with access to everything. And I'm guessing it's either they just pay for parking for the day or it's free. Okay, we can see ours now. Oh. It's at the one, two, three, four, five, there's five <laughs> that it's behind. This guy actually lives full time in his camper van. I think he has a new van and he's selling his old one. I think he's basically upgraded size wise. So um, I'd be intrigued just to speak to him and see what it's like to live in a van in New York City. Well, people are running their generators over there. With yeah, you can hear like them. It must be pretty chill here if they're allowed to do that. Hi. Hey, hey. Hi, this is fascinating. Yeah, so we call this van alley. Van Alley. Van um, Alley, I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind of a little community of us that stay here, so every oh, vehicle nice. you see that you suspect somebody might live in, they do. <laughs> <laughs> What's really nice about this road is they don't street sweep here um, because they can't get the street sweepers down this block, mm. so they don't tick it. Wow, well, yeah, thank you for letting us come and see. It looks lovely. Yeah, thank you very really much. Nice. Uh, how's this yeah. living for the highway? We're tiny, so it's not so bad it, for us. You see my posture now? <laughs> Almost a year in this van has done to me. Got it in, what, September, August of last year. I lived in okay. it full time from October till now. Okay, so not um, too long. Yeah, so kind of a short scene for me yeah. in this one. I buy these things, I build them out, make them really nice, and then I sell them. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, nice. So yeah, I've been living full time in a van since 2020 when oh, the I pandemic hit. I nice. started building them in 2016 just kind of for kicks. Had a yeah. project vehicle, old 85 Chevy G20 mm. that I absolutely love. Cool. It's in good yeah. condition for 87. Yeah, it looks it's great. It's for an 87. The body is absolutely amazing. It is wow. mostly original paint with, you know, some small touch ups to prevent rust and things like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, look at that big door. Oh, that's impressive. That's what sold me on it yeah. initially. I was like, okay, I gotta have it. That's really cool. Yeah. Tank for the diesel heater right here, so it does have a little diesel heater under the bed. Oh, nice. Um, air conditioner on the roof in there has um, an electric heat option as well if you oh, have wow. plug-ins or RV sites. Hop on Excellent. in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's... it's oh, cute. wow. 
Something that's really cool is the whole original um, control panel does oh, work. Oh, nice. Most of these you have a more modern version to keep track yeah. of things, but yeah. it's just cool to have, you know, you've got your propane gauge, yeah. you've got your battery gauge, your tanks. I can see what you mean about standing up. For yeah, you. you can see that this this isn't for me. <laughs> this is Compared a, to us, it's a yeah, phenomenal it's van. It's yeah. just not for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thank you. Oh wow. And so that is um, just a cassette toilet. Oh, it's yeah. quite spacious it's in there, a isn't nice it? Nice size. Yeah. It's a great size. What I really love about these wider vans is that you can actually lay sideways in them and save yes. so much space. I do love this layout. It is great. Yeah, it's amazing what you can get in such a small space. Yeah. And I love this wide opening door as well. Imagine that like parked up somewhere. Nice, lovely view. Think of the thumbnails. <laughs> Drew also kindly showed us the van that he's currently working on and living in with his dog. I'm only like a week and a half into the build on this. That's so, so cool. Very early stages. And you're just doing the it sink here. done yesterday. Yeah, so this is That's basically so cool. my mobile workshop. I have a table saw, a chop saw, every tool under the sun inside of this van. And you could just do it out here. Uh, I work either wow. here on the road and clean up after myself, oh. or I'll pick up clients by going to their house, working in the driveway, that kind of thing. Yeah. If you want to check out what I do, I do this kind of service for people. If you have a small project on a van, a full remodel, whatever you're looking for, you can check me out on Reister Customs yep. on Instagram. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like you're doing um, good work. Thank so. you very much. Yeah, make sure you follow Drew down on the link below. Just say you came from the Beans, because it's just so nice to share the love and he's been so friendly and helpful. I'm in no way comfortable to drive around New York City. I've seen the way people drive here. It's yeah. nuts. I would be terrified. So Drew has kindly offered to actually take us for a spin. He's going to drive it. We're going to be passengers and just see how it runs. I'll tell you, this thing's <laughs> happiest at 60 to 65. It's happy. It'll do 75 all day, but you're going to run out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> What's the miles per gallon on this? Uh, if you're standing 10? in the pocket, you're going to get 10 to 11. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's old. It's not amazing. No, it's no, heavy. No. Have you taken this on many long trips at all? Uh, longest legs I've done on this are about seven hour drives and it has had no problems with them. <laughs> nice. So, stop for gas, never yeah. had to give it a hard break or anything like that. Yeah. How uh, big's the uh, tank for fuel? 30. Okay. So yeah, sizable. It might be 35. Oh yeah, it's okay. gallons here. Yeah. I was thinking 30 liters, that sounds small because it needs to have liters. Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. hey, yeah. shit, that's, that's going to run out quick. <laughs> this is some New York stuff. No. <laughs> wow. What? Yeah, see, this is why I couldn't drive in New York. This it would freak me out. Why I'm glad I'm driving. Yeah. I can't believe you have the confidence to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's outrageous. It's impressive. <laughs> Hats off to you. I've been driving this thing for a while, you know. <laughs> Thread this thing through a needle. <laughs> I love it. I want it. Can we take it right now? Can we be impulsive? <laughs> but like, we cannot be impulsive. We cannot buy the first thing we see. No. At the end but of the day, I mean, we can't buy the first thing we see on the first day we see it. No. <laughs> My biggest concern is that it, at the end of the day, it still is a 35 year old vehicle. We would get somebody to actually come out independently mm -hmm. and have a look at it and give it a once over and say, yes, this is great for its age or not, if the case may be. So, interior wise, I love it. I think mm -hmm. it's really nice. It seems like really good condition. Very livable and like it's nice to be in. Yeah. I could imagine doing trips over the years in that. And the body works nice. Yeah. Like the outside, there's no like dings or rust or anything like that. It seems like well maintained and well looked after. Yeah. But definitely spending that much money on an old van still does give me concern. So I think it's still good to go and look at some more first. Of course. With a successful first viewing under our belts, we decided to take the rest of the day off to enjoy New York in all its glory, eating our way around the city and starting the next day with one of my favorite things, a New York bagel. We'd like to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, AG1 by Athletic Greens for making today's video possible. Alex and I have been taking AG1 for what, like a year now, would you say? Yeah, it must be now. Yeah, and one of the main reasons we do this is just because we're on the go and kind of busy all the time and we're not the best at hitting all of our nutritional goals, especially when we're in places like this and we want to eat absolutely everything we lay our eyes on. 
Having AG1 gives us the peace of mind that we're at least doing one good thing for ourselves each day with very little effort on our part. All we need to do is add one scoop or one of the travel packs to water and shake it up. We find the travel packs especially handy when we're on the go because we can just chuck a couple of these in the bag and not have to think about it. Something that Alex and I have been focusing on lately is improving our gut health and just one scoop of AG1 has over 7 billion CFU probiotics which is fantastic for gut health. And a healthy gut has a knock-on effect when it comes to things like absorbing nutrients and strengthening your immune system, which can only be a good thing, right? Athletic Greens is actually offering a free one-year supply of vitamin D as well as five free travel packs with your first order to the Travel Beans community. All you need to do to claim it is head over to athleticgreens.com forward slash travel beans. We are now on our way to see camper van number two. So we are in Queens at the moment. It's the first time we've ever been here. And this camper van is more expensive than the one from yesterday. Yeah. And it is also, yeah, a lot newer. And it's a self-converted van. So it looks really nice, yeah. but different to the one that's already predetermined. Completely different. And we haven't looked at any van in this style before. So I'm really intrigued to see what it's like in person size-wise. First impressions, it's not too big. No. It's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, New York is so loud, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Just looking from the outside, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, Very campery. It's really cute, yeah. I like it, it's pretty cute. Yeah, I like the size. Yeah, it's actually, even though it's smaller than I thought it was going to be, I don't think that's a bad thing. I actually quite like how small it is. You can see you've got solar panels on the roof, which would be super useful. Yeah, and the outside looks quite tidy. You know, there's a few little scratches and dings, but to be honest, I think that's going to be the case with whatever we buy. It's got a nice stealth vibe to it. it yeah, it could be pretty stealthy. It looks like there's a curtain behind the front two seats as well to block off the cab. My only concern with it would be the future-proofing of it, in that there's only one bed in there. So if there's any, ever any more of us than just the two beans, it could be a bit of a squeeze. So eventually we would like to start a family. So it's definitely something that we want to consider is just having somewhere that the little bean could be as well instead of having to sell and buy something new. Yeah, the, the hassle future. of it all, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're keeping that in mind. But, but also because the great thing about these self builds is that they can be rejigged and readjusted. Yeah. So you never know, like once we get inside, it might seem like there's enough space to be able to put another small bed in there. Yeah, it's hard to find it this small, and I did my best to yeah. build it for the size, you know? Yeah. So, oh, wow. So a little more storage on this side. Yeah. But the tub works really well. So uh, if you take it out, it's a cool shower. Oh, nice. Cool. How big's the water tank? It's, it's a little small for two people. You have to change it if you cook two, three times a day. Okay. You probably have to change it three days. Okay. I mean, fill it. Yeah. So that could do like two laptops and maybe, you know, some yeah. other smaller things. I didn't get a big one because I just never really used it for yeah, a big that's... item. And it just chugs the batteries and kind of kills the battery if you use yeah. a big one a lot. So I just kept it small, man. How big's the leisure battery? Uh, there are three 55 amp ones. So, okay. So okay. The solar, I got one 160 water. Okay. And then one 100 water, so it's 260 total. It's okay. A lot of solar. Conversion on yourself? Yeah, I've nice. done six of them. Oh, nice. Oh, we are, actually, this is eight, seven or eight. And then we'll sell them, go do another one. Just yeah. To, yeah, yeah, cool. I'll be around. But this is my favorite. I'm actually, if I had money, I'd keep it. This thing is so cool because it's small. You can park anywhere in the Yeah, city. you can see it's easy for stealth. Too. I wish it was just a little wider for me because I'm six feet. But, yeah, luckily uh, we're tiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, say, I like to say that the van makes you stay humble. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you now. Okay, yeah. You've done a great job on it. Yeah, yeah it's really functional. I, since I've been in them, and I don't just build them, I live in them. Yeah. So I, in terms of function, I've, I've figured out pretty much what works. You know? This is where I keep the gas. Oh, okay. So this this little seat. The little seat uh, as well, yeah. It's we cooked good. every day, and we just have this one gas thing. So I put this ledge in, now I can't pop it out easy, but. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. so they, and we cooked every, I have a carbon monoxide monitor, yeah. so. Uh, 
And I like this system because I can turn it off so easy. I just yeah. turn it on, cook, turn it off, save. These have these like RV clips in them, so you just like, so now they're locked wow. in. Oh, I see. It's got this little. Yeah, nice. Cool. Yeah, under the bed, these are all drawers, did you say? Yeah, yeah, you can pull them out. They should just, oh, yeah, sorry. Well, that was cute. Yeah, what do you think? I really like it, but there were a few things that stood out to me as maybe just didn't suit us and our yeah, needs. So. The main thing is I can't stand up straight in there. Yeah. And I'm not a tall person. So I feel like when I saw it, I was like, with a high roof, like I'm going to be able to stand up in it. I'm, I was shocked that I couldn't. Yeah, we can't go from Frank and have all that space to that smaller space. That's the problem. And it doesn't have AC. In yeah, it doesn't have day. AC either, which, as we've learned from past experiences, is definitely a necessary thing to have. So we'd have to pay to get that installed if we wanted it. But the trouble is, all the solar on the roof, I think, there's not much space yeah. for AC. So. As much as I like it, and it's kind of a cute, self-made yeah. van, it's just I just don't feel like it's for us. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one is a thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. It was I, nice I, to see you, nice bloke. Really nice to see, and it's nice to see something that's such a different style to everything else we've been looking at. So I'm glad that we came out to look, and yeah, thank you, Adam, for letting us look around your van if you see this. But yeah, I think we need something a little bit yeah. It's always such a trip walking around New York. There's always something to look at or going always on. Always something. So you got over here like a mural that's on this side and on the other side. Just loads of people lined up painting. There's so much cool street art around. Yeah, just loads of awesome, talented humans going about their day. in New York and just enjoying every moment of it, wandering around. So we've now moved to Staten Island where our friend is kindly letting us stay and he is gonna let us use his truck next week so yep. we can actually expand the search and get out of New York and keep looking for vans. Yeah. We are still interested in van number one. However, we do feel that we need to expand our search and at least look at a couple more vans before just jumping at the first one, literally the first one that we've seen. <laughs> so we have expanded our search a bit further. We have found so many interesting different types. For example, there is these short school buses that look really cool, they look have a great. lot of space. Yeah. And then there's these four by fours that I really love. Yeah, they're the ones that get me the most excited, these massive four by four vans. However, it does look like you're gonna have to spend a bit more money if you want something that mm -hmm. badass, basically. <laughs> yeah, but it's very tempting, the idea of going further off road. There's the ones with like pop tops that you could stay in or just yep. staying in. Oh, I mean, I love them all. Yeah. <laughs> they are all, very exciting. They're so, so good. It's really hard not to go down a rabbit hole with these and like not to be like, oh, I wonder what I can get for a little bit more, a little bit more. And then you're like, hang on a minute. We don't have this much money. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have these extremely questionable ones. Oh, that yeah. I can't believe these things exist. I know. This is what I can only describe as a shagging wagon. It is a very quick, like, I don't know what has gone on in this van or- Who has been done in this van? <laughs> Multiple people. I mean, the type of writing they have throughout it. <laughs> and then, for example, something completely left field is this streetcar trolley thing that, I mean, would be a dream <laughs> to renovate. Practically, it would be a nightmare, right? Yeah. Like, it would probably break down all the time, but it would be so much fun to turn that into something awesome. As much as we want to get a van and hit the road straight away impatiently, <laughs> we are respecting the process after what happened last time, oh. so we will take longer and keep looking until we find what we feel is the perfect band for us. Yeah, we don't want to rush into anything and regret anything, so yeah, taking our sweet, sweet time. <laughs> We would love to know what do you think of both the vans that we looked at this week? Mm -hmm. Would you be comfortable buying something from 1987 like the first van? 
And yeah, we just really appreciate your feedback on this because we feel like we're constantly <laughs> learning and uh, you guys really help with that. Yeah. If you like the video, give us a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as once we get this van, we will be hitting the road on a great American road trip. Make sure you check the link down below for AG1 and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans out.